your road trips with your family is going to be a lot better with this little AI box that we're going to talk about in this video. Imagine being able to watch ESPN, live TV, movies, all that type of stuff while you're driving down the road or just in your vehicle when you need to, while you're waiting on somebody, while you're waiting on your kids in the pickup line, whatever it is. We're going to talk about how you can accomplish this pretty much in any vehicle that has Android, Auto, or Apple CarPlay. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to DIY Reed. My name is Reed. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Benaiz or a Beniz AI box. So we've already reviewed a couple AI boxes on my channel. I'll leave a link to a few of those down below in the description. I've reviewed another Benaiz box. This is pretty much the same one. This is the other one. Here's the new one. They both work. They're both going to do this great job. This is just the newer one, most upgraded one with, with the, well, the newest Android operating system. A little bit faster. Um, it's just going to be a little bit better than the older box. They both work great, just fine. But we're going to review the new one. So as you can see here, the new one is a lot slimmer, about the same size, but slimmer, which I guess makes it easier to... Uh, mount or i guess put store away somewhere in your vehicle this will work on any vehicle that has android auto or apple carplay but pretty much all of the stereos that have apple carplay also do android auto you don't have to have an android device this uses android os 13 on it as an operating system and i know that's kind of confusing but you don't need i mean i have an iphone but you don't need an Android phone because it technically the phone doesn't actually power this. The device itself powers the operating system. It's almost like putting like an iPad or an operating system onto your screen in your vehicle. So what this is going to do is it's going to connect via USB into your, into your uh, vehicle, just like you would wire up your phone. So that way you can get the Android auto or wireless CarPlay or not wireless CarPlay, but CarPlay. It will work on wireless CarPlay, Android Auto systems because my truck has wireless CarPlay and Android Auto. It just plugs in. It doesn't work wirelessly. But in the box, you're going to get this little small little guide. Basically, it's going to tell you, it's going to give you a link to do everything like the warranty and get technical support if you need to. You're also going to get a package of USB, I think it's USB-A to USB-C power cable or and a USB-C to USB-C uh, depending on what your vehicle uses, mine uses USB-A, and then the device box uses USB-C to power it. And you'll also notice this, as well as the old one, allows you to put an SD card in it for extra storage, as well as it has a SIM card slot. So you can add this to your phone plan for, you can have its own phone number, its own text number, and you can get internet through this. If you don't add an SD card, they're not an SD card, but a SIM card to this for the phone system, you can use your phone or you can use an, an actual mobile hotspot. So that way you can get internet to this device. Before we get into plugging this into my truck and showing you around on how this works, I wanted to mention that the price of this is right now, I think it's $189 on Amazon. Seems kind of pricey, right? But most of the devices are about that price range. And honestly, I mean, how priceless is it to be able to watch your TV shows or watch a movie, have your family watch a movie while you're driving down the road, going on a trip, um, or while you're waiting in line to pick up your kids or whatever it is, what, what's the price on that to watch on, to watch on your, in your vehicle if you need to. Obviously I don't condone driving while you're being the person driving while you're watching the movie or TV and all that type of stuff. I don't condone that. Don't do that. Um, it's very unsafe, obviously, for obvious reasons. Same thing as texting and driving. But your family or your passengers are going to be able to do that or watch watch a game, anything like that. So let's go ahead and get this plugged in and get it going. All right, hopefully you can see that. It automatically went to my wireless car play. I'll go ahead and plug it in here and then plug it into my head unit. Well, factory unit. And it's, it's going to take a little bit. Mine takes a little bit because it's trying to decide what it wants to do, what, what it wants to use. So there you go. It's now it's acting like it's a USB media drive. And you can, I don't know if you can see on this, but it's got some lights on it. It's got two lights. It's like a power light and a processing light. That way, you know, it's actually thinking. 
going into the operating system. And as you can see here, it's just like an Android tablet. You got different icons here. It's gonna do a taskbar here. And it'll show you if you're connected to your Wi-Fi or Bluetooth devices, anything here. You got the time. Well, I need to readjust the time here, but you got a widget here. So it's just like a it's just like a Android tablet. It's still booting up right now too, but you got all your apps here that you want. I got Disney Plus, Hulu, Netflix. I have VLC, so that way I can play movies on my SD card. We got Plex. I can stream from my Xfinity. Uh, YouTube, YouTube Music, Spotify, you name it. And so you can see it's got a phone and then also SMS. Where'd that go? I don't know where that went. There it is, messages. So if you had a uh, SIM card in this uh, for internet service, you can actually, and it has a phone number, you can do all that there. Um, hit car, and that will take you back to your vehicle's factory radio stuff, all the settings and all that. Settings, Chrome, web browser, you can go and we can actually go to websites if you wanted to. And everything, all the apps are downloaded in the Apple, or well, not Apple, but Google Play Store. So keep that in mind. Uh, you'll have to sign up for that if you don't. All right, so go ahead. Look at Netflix here. And you can see, once you go into the app, the sidebar goes away. We're going to go ahead and let's do TV shows. The Gentleman. So you kind of... Let's all go away. And then you got your TV show. Now say I want to go back. Say I want to, I'm done with this. I'm going to go back. There's a dot at the very top and it allows you to get some more options. I'm going to go back. And I can go to wherever I want to go. Maybe I want to go to movies. Or maybe I want to go all the way back to home. I can go back to home. There I'm back to home screen. Now I can go to Plex, whatever I want to do. Now I'm good to go. Uh, again, you don't have to have Android phone for this to all to work. I can't stress that enough. I know a lot of questions I get on other videos. I have an iPhone. Will this still work? It doesn't matter. The actual device is what matters, and the device has the operating system on it. And the cool thing is, once you have it, I can set up. I already have wireless CarPlay on this. Uh, this in this truck, but if you don't have wireless CarPlay or wireless Android Auto, this will allow you to have wireless CarPlay and Android Auto so you can connect your phone wirelessly to that instead of plugging it in, which is kind of cool. You leave that plugged in and it automatically detects your vehicle or your your phone and it'll automatically get that up there and running if you want to. It's up to you. I just personally use my head unit for that and then if anytime I want to watch a movie or family wants to do whatever they want, watch a movie, TV show, whatever, we plug this in and off we're going to watching that. The device, again, the Benais, this is the Android 13 unit. This is $189.99. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check it out if you're interested. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. If this helped you out in any way, leave me a like. And I will see you next time.